Hello everyone, today we are going to move into Tankercad. So I thought we would try something a little bit different this year. Uh, I know that we worked a lot with just creating stagnant figures. Um, last year we worked on the balloon powered car, so we talked about how to make moving parts. And this year we're going to look at making a maze. So under the January assignment, there is uh, Tuesday 119, which is the one that we're starting with today. Today we're going to work on designing our maze and we will hopefully do that within Google Drawings itself and then you'll be able to use your Google Drawing as a template to create it in Tinkercad later on this week. All right so if you go ahead and look it says watch the puzzle video which you're doing now which is good then it says click the link below to access the maze template in Google Drawings. So this is the Google Drawings template over here. So when you click on that, it's going to open up a Google Drawing for you. And I gave you the basis for your actual maze. All right, and this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be creating a square within Tinkercad. These are the walls, right? That's why they're kind of grayed out in different shades. That's like imagine the walls coming up. And then you have a start point and an end point, which will be holes that we cut into the template itself. So I gave you the first wall so that your ball can roll down this first wall. So you're... I, I, job today is to create the rest of the maze, what the maze is going to look like. Before you actually try to create this within Google Drawings, I suggest using some paper and drawing it out by pencil first. So I gave you kind of an example of different ones that you can do. If you want to move the hole, if so, if you look at, oh, sorry, if you look at this design here where the hole starts here and ends here, or in this one where the hole's here and it ends in the middle of this S here, you can do that. So you can just click and drag the hole to wherever you want it to be. All right, so that's fine. But I would suggest either getting um, a post-it note or a scrap piece of paper or something and figuring out how you want your maze to um, look. So this is samples of finished printed mazes that have been created. And you can see what it looks like in the design and then what it looks like actually printed out. And what you want is there to really only be one way to get from start to finish. So you can see this one starts here at this hole. And then if you go through here, you can come around this way and get to here. This one, you can come up to this side and get to here. So there's all different routes that you can get to it, but you do have to follow the path and there's little traps. So see how they have this little box here? This would be like a trap and your ball would get stuck and wouldn't be able to get out as easily. So think about how you want your maze to look. Do you want it to have only one way that goes all the way through? Do you want to have multiple ways that you can get through? Do you want to create these little traps? Do you want to have your whole, the start and the end finish different locations? So kind of get an idea of what you want your design to look like and use that paper to draw it out. Because if you, it's a lot easier to draw and sketch and erase than to do this on Google Drawings. So once you have it all drawn out and you're happy with the way that it looks, you're then going to come into here and you're going to use the rectangle tool to create your different walls. So I say rectangle tool, but really if you want to use different shapes, that's fine. Just remember that you are going to need to recreate this within Tinkercad. So if you get anything that's too complex in design, it's going to be a little bit harder to create within Tinkercad itself. So try to kind of like, I like the idea of sticking with rectangles because then I know when I go to actually draw and design this, um, I'll have rectangles that I can work with. So you just click and draw. The paint bucket here changes the color to red. And then you can actually use the arrow keys on your keyboard to walk things around. You can also remember copy and paste. So let's say I want another one of these walls. I can say control C to copy and then control V to paste. And then I can walk this with the arrow keys to wherever I want it to be. So what I want you to do today is create your maze design. Sketch it out on paper, create it in Google Drawings. When you are done, you can then turn it in through here. And that way I can see your completed design. And then you'll use this to create your uh, Tinkercad design later. All right, if you have any questions, as always, you can come back into the meet. You can send me a chat on GoGuardian. Either way, I will be available to help you. And um, hopefully this is something fun and different to try. Good luck.